In this playlist, we take you to incredible India, to an Ayurvedic clinic. And I guess it will not look or feel like anything you might expect. How would you cope with cleansing your bowels? Today, I lost my very last tablet. If you are faint-hearted, go straight to the next episode. And if you are new to Transstand Dance, start this series with the first episode to make the best of it. So, what happened? I have always seen myself as a person who is free in body and in mind, free of taboos. I'm a naturist, I come from a free thinker's family, I come from a culture where freedom is the most important value. Male-female relationships, tantra, sexuality, that's always been my passion, the way people relate to each other. And I believe that freedom should be expressed in this part of the human being for more happiness. I also believe that people should feel free to speak about politics and religions without taboos. So, so far there was only one thing that I never spoke about and that was the excretory system. Everything that is smelly, everything that is ugly, it's a no-no for me. So what happened? The people around here, staff and other patients alike, have helped me shedding that very last one. I must say that a lot of the therapy here evolves around cleaning, purifying, cleansing the system. And that involves cleansing the digestive systems, therefore the excretory system. That involves creating, inducing diarrhea. Well, yes, yes, that's right. That's what happens here with all sorts of techniques, things that you take in and so on. And it's really quite touching. And in fact, what happens is that it's so part of the daily life that the conversations among patients anywhere, like in the corridors, on the, uh, in the restaurant, whatever, all evolve around how many times you went, uh, what color it was, uh, what consistency it had, uh, how much farting you do. It's really funny, actually, when you think about it. But also, the way it's done is with utmost neutrality, respect, care. And in fact, every day I spend in India, I learn a different, a new aspect of caring and respect. I learn that every single part of your body, mind, emotions, deserves love, deserves respect. I also learned what it is like to be um, like a, a fragile baby or like a very old person again and what it is like to be reliant on the care of others. In short, here, more than anywhere else, what you need to do is go with the flow. Bye-bye! See you in the next episode, where I will soon be telling you about all the results of this crazy 28-day adventure. To know more about the five weeks of treatment I received or the sort of life-transforming experiences you could have, stay tuned for the full story in the next episodes, where you will see me and other patients tell you what we went through.